Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's Lessons. We've been working on a scrolling platform game. If you've been following along, then right now you should have a actor that can scroll left and right and have the world move around him. If you haven't, you can go back and start at uh, scrolling my scrolling world lesson one or you can go to Mr. Stewart's Lessons com and see uh, the Scrolling World 4 lesson and download the demo up till now. So if you either have the demo or have the lesson you've worked on before, open it up and we're going to continue. The next thing we want to do is we want him to be able to jump. But before he can jump, we need him to be able to fall. So today we're just going to make the ball guy so he can fall. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up ball guy's uh, code window. And I'm going to create a few variables. Um, I'm going to create a delta x variable and a delta y variable. So these are going to be how much I'm moving left and right and how much I'm moving up and down. Right now we're just going to focus on moving down, which is falling. So right now you should just create two variables, int delta x equals zero and int delta y equals zero. And I'm going to come down here and I want to go below the act method. And I'm going to create a new move method. So it's going to be public void move, and then I'll do open and close curly brackets afterwards. And what's going to happen, the delta x is going to represent how much are, we're moving left and right in the world, and the delta y is going to represent how much we're moving up and down in the world. So. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, make the move method work by having us change our x location. So I'm going to need a new x variable and a new y variable that's different from where we are right now. So I'm going to create a variable called new x. And it's going to, the new x is going to be the x, our current x location, and that comes from our get x, ver get x method. So we're going to get our x right now, and then we're going to add the delta x variable, which right now is just going to be zero. And then we're going to get a new y location, So we're going to make a new y variable, and that's going to be our current y, which we use the get y method, and we're going to subtract the delta y. Now you might be wondering, how come I'm adding the delta x and taking away the delta y? The answer is that as my, that the x increases from the left to the right side of the screen. So over here would be x of 0, over here would be x of say 600 or something like that. But the y doesn't increase the y increases the other direction. So the y increases so from up here from up here. So up here at the top the y would be 0 down here at the bottom the y would be 400 or whatever the bottom of the screen is. So we're going to add the delta x and subtract the delta y. That's how our movement's going to be. And then we need to set our uh, new location, right? And we're going to use the method that I created below, which is the set lo location with scroll. So I'm going to say um, this is the method that we created, set location with scroll. 
and the notice that it takes this set location with scroll takes two arguments the new x and the new y and here's our new x and new y that we created right up here um, so we're going to pass this new x and new y these don't actually have to be the same name of the variables but um, I could have called them something different since we're passing it but it helps to call them the same thing so I'm going to call so I'm going to pass it the new x that's the new x location we want and the new y which is the new y location we want and that's going to uh, so um, now that this is just going to make us move right but it's not going to uh, nothing's going to happen yet if I close this and I compile it um, I can put my ball guy in the world and if I uh, have go to my move method it's not going to do anything at all because there's no arguments for move we need to change the delta x and the delta y the way we're going to change the delta x and delta y right now we're just going to change the delta y because all we're going to do is we're going to fall and I need a method to make myself fall so I'm going to create another method called fall I'm going to say public void fall and then I'll do open and close curly brackets now um, the fall is going to is going to make my delta y go up that's going to increase my delta y so And this is going to um, so if I end so so this is going to make my make me every time my delta y is going to increase. This is going to create the acceleration experience that you get with falling. Now, in order to make these two things work um, in my act method, I'm going to want to call both of them. So right now you should have public void move, which is int new x equals get x plus delta x, int new y equals get y minus delta y, and then we're going to set location with scroll, new x and new y, and then um, you're going to have public void fall, which is just delta y plus plus. That means it's going to increase the delta y every turn. Okay? And so now you're going to go up inside your act method. I'm going to first type fall, call my fall method. And then I'm going to put move and kind of call my move method. So I want to see my ball guy fall now. It's not going to work just yet because we're at the bottom of the map. And to explain what that means, let me take you back to the uh, map that we drew back in the paint early on. Um, this is all our platforms. This is the map that we drew. Um, right now we're sort of, our screen is sort of down here at the bottom of the map. And uh, if you notice the top of these, so the, the top of these little marching ants here, the blue boundary, it would be sort of the top of our screen, which we called the top bound. And the bottom down here is what we call the bottom bound. And we have that set in our sky method that's where we start what we want to do now is we want to start instead up here so we have some room to fall we want to see ourselves actually fall so I need to open up the sky code window here and I'm going to change the top bound and the bottom bound so the top bound right now is the bottom bound is the map height and so if um, that would be just to remind you what the map height is um, the map height would be this all the way down here so the top bound is the map height which is all the way down at the bottom the I mean that'd be the bottom bound the bottom bound is the map height minus the height of the screen which we use using the get height method which would be all the way up here so um, we're going to change it right now the bottom bound is set to the very bottom of the map which is the map height and the top bound is the map height minus the get height method we're going to uh, change things around what I'm going to do is I'm going to want the top bound to be zero 
zero, so that's going to be all the way up at the top of the map that we drew. And the bottom bound, well, we want that to be the height of the screen because it's going to be zero plus however tall our screen is. We know how tall our screen is using the get height method because we're in our world, so we can call the get height method. So you're going to change those two things in your sky code so we can this uh, this is the um, change the bottom bound to get height and the top bound to zero now I'll compile it so you'll notice that our map moved we're in a different place on our map now I'm going to put you click on the ball guy and press shift to put your ball guy in and when you click run your ball guy is going to start to fall and he's going to fall and fall and fall our ball guy is in a tricky situation right now because we have not given him the ability to land and that's what he needs to do now is land on a platform and that's what we're going to do in the next lesson so come back and we will save our poor ball guy and allow him to land on a platform